If you're watching the series in order, this guy's appearance in season two's The Greenhouse Jungle makes him Columbo's first sidekick. With permission from Captain Ritchie to work right alongside you, sir. It's so unexpected. You're gonna work along with me? That he becomes as much of a guest star as the episode's murderer. And when he returns in season five's Now You See Him, he demonstrates a consistency and evolution of character unmatched in the series. So why does this... Detective Sergeant Frederick Wilson, sir. Go to this... So Wilson. Yes. John Jade. He's efficient. Who's in charge? Sergeant Wilson, sir. Hardworking. If you don't mind my taking charge. Intelligent. I'm in charge here, Grover. And the subject of today's Echoes of Colombo. Sergeant. Wilson? Wilson. I love the sergeants. Since our hero usually works alone, it's always a treat to watch him with a colleague. A sergeant episode is instantly memorable, and Wilson sets the standard for recurring Columbo assistants like Kramer, Burke, and DeGarmo. But he's different because his appearances constitute their own little arc, the sergeant's journey from obsequious rookie to someone who might someday be the lieutenant's equal. We have to start in 1972. Peter Falk's old friend Bob Dishy plays Wilson with an earnest naivete that balances his overconfidence. And while he underestimates Columbo and gets bamboozled by the bad guy, his use of the metal detector inspires Columbo to solve the case. Because without you, I'd never gotten this idea. I mean, those technical things that you're so good at. Returning in 1976 with a little less hair and a lot more humility, Wilson isn't as central to the plot, but his technical expertise once again provides Columbo with the final clue. Very good, Wilson. While the fumbling, awkward lieutenant usually gets the show's comic spotlight, Wilson steals the laughs in his episodes, exasperating even his boss. So where are we going? Wilson. Please. Both times he rattles off facts from his notebook. Subject vehicle, a Jaguar, registered to subject person of last night's missing person report. Height, 5 feet 8 inches, weight, 174 pounds. Both times he lords his authority over others while flattering his superior. Don't worry about your car, the officer will move it for you. Officer, right now. We won't leave here until he finds the person who did this. Yes, sir. And both times he has a curious connection to Columbo's raincoat. In the greenhouse jungle, he holds it and reminds Columbo to take it with him. In Now You See Him, he's continually retrieving that hated new raincoat. Wilson is unique because he seems to learn from his time with the lieutenant, even specifically mentioning their shared history. I've gained a lot of experience since our last case, you know. Very good. His undercutting of Columbo changes to reverent worship. While the murderer fools him the first time around, Wilson presents a united front when Columbo IDs their second opponent. The greenhouse jungle had Wilson leaning heavily on gadgets. The special camera, the footprint molds, the metal detector. But we see him much more practical in Now You See Him, correctly focusing on the motive as the key, although he never guesses the right one. So if they got all these character details right, how did everyone associated with the series get his first name wrong? Why change Frederick to John Jay? Could it be a reference to John Jay, first Chief Justice of the United States? Eh, not at all. We have to look deeper at how first names are handled on the show. For instance, every murderer has a first name, except in Death Lends a Hand. This is Mr. Brimmer. How do you do? What's up? And you know, I think the question of Mr. Brimmer's first name is more fascinating than what the lieutenant's is. Do you have a first name? I do. My wife is about the only one that uses it. In Now You See Him, where Wilson's own first name changes, the killer goes by Santini, and nobody seems to care what his first name is, because Columbo calls everyone Mr. or Ma'am or Doctor anyway. Wilson doesn't even introduce himself at first. I was wondering, could you tell me your name? And while Columbo calls him Freddy once, he sticks with plain Wilson or Sergeant thereafter, as he normally would. When he returns with his first name undeniably different, nobody seems to care. Detective Sergeant John J. Wilson? That's him. It's because Wilson is becoming more and more like Columbo to the point that even his first name ceases to matter. Santini calling him Dr. Watson is quite accurate. How many times did Holmes call him by his first name? Watson! <laughs> Ho! Wilson, Watson, we know who they are, first name or no. Had he appeared again, it's likely that Wilson wouldn't have had a first name. And someday he might be Lieutenant Wilson, cracking cases on his own. Interestingly, Bob Dishy would go on to appear in the first episode of Mrs. Columbo. Mrs. Columbo? Yes. Sergeant Norris. But as Sergeant Norris, and he's barely heard of Columbo, simply saying he's a fine officer in an interesting nod to Columbo's first compliment of Wilson and Captain Ritchie. Oh yes, he's a very fine officer. Well, you're a very efficient officer, I can see that. Captain Ritchie's a very fine administrator. It's easy to laugh at him, but how often does a sergeant contribute so materially to the solution of his cases? Just as he typed when cracking the Santini case, we can say that Wilson is a good man. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. I typed that. Sergeant Wilson typed that.
I bought this one myself. You use your own money? Well, I wanted to have the best equipment for the job, sir. 